Dual Review is brought to you by NexusDigitalComics.com. On today's Dual Review, we take a journey. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. is the 24th of April, and we're going to be taking a look at Journey, the video game. That's right, uh, and it's a PS3 exclusive. Unfortunately, if you have an Xbox, yeah, you don't get it. No, get a PS3 if you have an Xbox. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Xbox sucks. Um, so yeah, it's developed. It was it was created by that game company, uh, who also did. Uh, I think there was three in a contract. I believe it was. It was a uh, Flow, Flower, and now this one, Journey. And uh, it's it's artistically, I, I I think it is is it is amazing. You know, you get to see. I mean varied environments, a huge desert, it's pretty awesome and you and as you trail you see your the, the the desert sand trail follow you. It's pretty awesome. But um what makes it really unique is its simple immersion techniques. Like there is no manual, there is no, you know, instructions, you know, there's no, you know, heads up display or anything. It's just you, you know, like you're you're almost a stick figure with a robe and you're venturing towards the mountain. You don't even know why you're venturing towards the mountain. You just are and and you have to unlock the story, but even the story has no narrative, so it's so it all becomes how you interpret the images that you see, which is, I yeah. think, amazing. It's a really interesting experiment. Um, I didn't play as much as him. I don't own it. I just played it at his place, and uh, you know, it is an interesting experiment. Like you say, they, they just strip it down, and you know, it's just kind of a what do I do here? Well, I'll just experiment and whatever. Um, but it can only be so fun. I think. I don't know. It's like. You're trying to jump. It's like, oh, I can't jump. Unless I charge up or I'm around some other dude, then I can jump. But there's no reason to jump because anytime that you have to jump, you'll have something that you can... Whether... So, I don't know. It's kind of a fun puzzle-solving thing. And I didn't see much of the narrative. Apparently, I was playing it wrong, just like blazing through it. Um, but I didn't know what else to do. Uh, and so the, the narrative is sort of weak. I mean, it's just kind of like, oh, look, it's uh, pixel art that's hieroglyphics in this world. And it shows me that... I'm now sleeping. I don't know what that is. You know, it's like I'm a rug. I don't even know what I am. So it's like. <laughs> well, yeah, and that 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 is, I think, part of its charm is because you, you have to interpret the images that you see. Like I said, um, but there are, you know, every now and then you do meet the, I don't know, tribal woman in white. I think she's a woman. It might be a man. I don't yeah, know. It's just something that's like twice as big as you and has a mask. Otherwise, it's like the exact same. Oh, and white. So in in these uh, in these areas, you have to. Basically, just get through it. You know, you just keep heading towards the uh, the mountain. But if you want to venture off, if you want to explore, you can find ruins and and uh, little areas with tomes that that'll give you a little more story. Um, in addition to little symbols, and the symbols will elongate your scarf thingy. It's like a ribbon, but it's like a scarf as well. And uh, what that does is that gives you your ability to fly. And you only have two abilities. Uh, one is to call. Um, sends out this or sing or whatever it is and uh, the second one is obviously to fly and then you can float down um, but you need to charge it up so you'll know that you're charged because your scarf thingy will have symbols all over them and uh, it'll drain as you you know gain height and then fall back down although there are some areas where the atmosphere kind of f keeps it filled so you can perpetually fly which is pretty awesome it would have been cool if there was like a mod where you can have like a raccoon tail while you did it <laughs> You know, that would have been awesome. Well, there's, uh, you know, there's there's enemies that, that chase you around a little bit, but you just really need to be aware of them. Yeah, there really, there really is only out. one enemy, and that was really the giant... Kill you either. The giant, I don't know, it's like a shark or whale thing. Yeah, it looks like know? a hammerhead shark, maybe, but it's yeah. made out of the same, you know, like, ribbons. Yeah, yeah cloth. It, 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 a lot of like carpets to me. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with carpets and cloth or whatever. I don't, Persian carpets. I don't know the significance of that, but then again, I mean, I have a, I have theories, but I, I don't feel comfortable sharing them because they're <laughs> just theories. Um, so that is interesting. I, I did try and look to see if someone else had come up with a definitive story as far as, you know, what happens. I mean, I understand that the entire race was kind of like wiped out and, or changed. And now instead of these giant white ones, you have these little tiny red people. Yeah, but at the very end, it almost seemed like I died. You know what I mean? Like you, I think you did. So then that it was like a trap. It was like, come to this beacon or whatever. And then it's like, that's what extinguished my species because I'm an right. idiot, you know, right. and I follow blindly. So I don't right. know. So one of the one of the other uh, little game mechanics is having a second person, and you and you don't know them. You don't 
you know, they're just another person it's who's playing chance online. Interaction, really. I mean, yeah, that that in itself is kind of unnecessary because either you can just sit back and let the other person do the work and reap the benefits, or you can do all the work and they can reap yeah, the benefits. Which I did. I, I was sitting here figuring out where to go or whatever. And the other guy was just waiting there for me to do it, like right. bastard. But yeah, there's really no. It, I don't know. Whatever. It, it you know, it's beautiful in a sense. There's you know, just kind of you just interact and you don't really rely on each other but you can help each other jump right. higher kind of right. thing if you're together and you call together and whatever so there's some interest there but uh at, at the same time um what was i gonna say when you when you first meet this new character you do try to talk to them you know you try and figure out a way to communicate but there really is none other than doing the little call thing um and maybe sometimes they'll come over to you to see to see what's going on because you're calling so much but generally, they're just doing their own thing, and it's right. like whatever. Yeah, but you can learn from each other, you know. Like when the winds are blowing or whatever, you see him hiding behind something, so you realize that that right. breaks the wind or whatever. Right. Not that it's hard to figure out, though. I guess that maybe that's my problem. Like, I didn't really enjoy Flower. I know that some people really enjoyed just kind of... It's a mellow game. It's, you know, from all the Gears of War and whatever, it's just kind of a nice palate cleanser and whatnot. Right. But for me, it's just kind of... It's it's just too easy. There's You can't lose. You can't die. It's just a matter of time before well, that, that... you figure that you just jump from here to here. And once you figure that out... It's the same thing over and over until you're out of level. So it's just, I don't... That game company really wanted to kind of move away from that, you know, uh, move forward, attack, either kill or beat the game. So they wanted to move away from that, and they did so with this, and where, I mean, yeah, there, there is no... There's no choice. You, you push the thumbstick, right. and when you glow or whatever, you can jump. That's basically it. But that's really all there is. So I get irritated. I, there's just not much to do. I, so again, I appreciate the experiment, and I can understand why some people would like it. For me, it's just it's it feels like a waste of time. Like if I had a lot of time, I would probably really enjoy sitting down and do it. But because I have so little time, it's like, why am I doing? Why don't I just play? You know, I'm, I need comics to read, or you know, whatever. I just keep thinking of all these other things I could be doing other than pushing the stick forward and just looking at the same and, scene and trudging there. through the snow or whatnot. But it's yeah, that's the thing is there's too much, and maybe it was different at the beginning of the game. I hopped in close to the end and ruined it for him because I played I played to the end. Right. Uh, but it just didn't seem to change very much. And that that kind of brings although me, I did like the snow, that was kind of fun. That did bring that does bring me to my next uh, question and. Is it worth the $15? It's about it's about an, a solid hour and a half gameplay if you just want to sit there and play through it. Me, I, I, I'm the type of guy who plays something, puts it down, and goes back to it. But is it worth $15 for an hour and a half? I mean, is the experience worth it for, for $15? I mean, granted, you can go to art shows for more than that, and but there is a yeah, little yeah. more content. I, it's worth for $15 if you believe in what they're doing and you want to support them. It is not worth $15 for the game itself, as far as I'm concerned. It's not worth. It's just not. It's not. There's no story. There's. I mean. There's. You know. A little tiny bit. But it's. Just but it's like, all interpretive. Is what you know. So well, that that makes it even less of a thing to pay for. You know. Well, it's I like disagree. You with pose that. a question and you pay ten dollars. It's like. Well, what seriously. about what about like you know there's going no, to going no, to an art gallery and seeing a whole bunch of abstract art. You I don't know. like abstract art either, but uh, you know it's it's one of those things that I mean that's a good question. That's a that's a valid question. To me, it's just like uh, they're saying okay, well. Uh, I don't know, Superman, he is impervious. And it's like, why? It's like, oh, I don't know, you figure it out. You know, it's like, it's all up to you. You know, like, that's just lazy. It's just lazy storytelling. So I'm sure there was some more story that I, I'm not getting, but uh, that's my, I'm more cynical. He's a little bit more, ooh, flashy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, well then I guess that's, that's. So, so I, I, if I, you're interested, check it out. I've, I've heard, heard so many people say, oh, it's so beautiful, but I, just for me, it, I paid the fifteen dollars for it. I enjoyed it, but again, fifteen dollars for were, it. Were you glad? <sighs> Honestly, I would have rather put that money towards stacking, which I did end up buying. <laughs> well, then you win both ways, I guess. Yeah. Just your pocketbook loses. Yeah, and you know it's. It was so much it, other. Out it was there a fun experience. I did enjoy it, just not fifteen dollars worth. Yeah, we just had this conversation though, where it's like. Uh, what do we, we don't know quite what to expect from the the you know the more right. inexpensive games? This is sort of new territory. We're finally getting to a point where I don't. What should you expect? Should you like with I Am Alive? It's like yeah, 50, I mean it wasn't a full game, but for fifteen bucks, you know maybe yeah. it's worth it. Yeah. I don't know. Stacking's yeah. worth it. I like. Stacking. I, I'm excited to see what happens, and I would you know I'd be very interested in seeing what they do next. Mm -hmm. I, uh, 
Because flower, it was a unique idea. I don't know what you, what the other one was. I've never Flo? heard of that. I've never heard of that. Oh, that was like or that was like one of the very first uh, things to come. I think it was like included in the PlayStation. Okay. Or something like that. But I'm not saying that you know simple can't be good. It's just I, yeah, I just don't personal. It's a personal thing. It's subjective. So. Well, I dug it, and if it was, I don't know. Ten, bucks, Ten, five bucks? seven. You if know, it was five. I, would... I might buy it for five, honestly. Right, right. Just because it's kind of fun. I mean, you know, it it's it's a fun aesthetic. It made me think of, you know, um, maybe it's just because I'm waiting for the the game so much, but it makes me think of uh, Hayao Miyazaki or something. You know, kind of, kind of a strange weird. Oh yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, yeah, that 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 uh, game. I can't wait for that one either. Yeah, it's next year though, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it. Um, follow us on Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube. Tell us what you think. We have a contest going where. Uh, you tell us one of your most favorite underrated uh, media, uh, or I don't know something that that falls into something. <laughs> Very eloquently uh, put. Thank you. And uh, and you know you can you can w have a chance to win a T-shirt, and all of our wares can be found at spiderwolf.com. If you're curious as to which T-shirt you might want to be, that's right. I'm get. sporting the Trikin T-shirt, one of the, one of the Trikins from Fisk. Right. So. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just send us something that you believe is overlooked, and uh, we'll pick the one that we think is the best and. Review it, and there, there we go. So that's it. Uh, check back. I think um, probably we'll give it another week or so here. So maybe, uh, yeah, maybe in uh, early May, we'll do the do the contest thing. Yeah, maybe okay. Mid May, something like that. Anyway, second week of mid May. Sounds I guess. good. Yeah, second week of May. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Oh, yes. you got that. One. I did. Next time, we take a look at comedian Jim Gaffigan. All right, so yeah, we were at Toys R Us today looking at other Nerf guns, and unfortunately, they don't use the sucky darts, and we need those, obviously, to, to see one. So otherwise, I'd have to like slow it down each time and try to guesstimate. Yeah, but they have awesome guns. They had one that was like half off, and it was like this. It had like yeah, the shield was like a full automatic sh machine gun. It had, the, and it had the right shield. It had the right shield. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. <laughs> I love that they have clips now. That's so awesome. Uh, yeah, when I was a kid, I used to go to gun shows, and my dad would buy me like one thing, so I'd get like one year I got a defunct grenade, you know, and that was cool. I still have it somewhere around here. And then I had, you know, one one year I'd get like um, the things that hold bolts together that go through. Like a you know a, a machine gun that you have oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. potted or whatever, so just the links that keep them together, just because it was cool, you know. Whatever. <laughs> uh, now they have them in their form. That's awesome.